What is up guys, I hope you all are doing great and the topic of today's video is Weed.io complete tutorial for beginners. So here we are on Weed.io. This is a like online software which provides us the opportunity to interact with our videos. We can edit it and do some other stuff. So in order to get started, firstly go to vid.io. Here we can find a lot of information about products, cases, resources and so on. Also we can discover prices. We can simply click on start for free and we'll come to our editor but I prefer to log in before uh, creating the project. So let's click on log in or sign up if you are new to this project. So you create an account. These steps are quite simple and in a few seconds you'll be able to create a project by yourself. But it will be easier as for us to save and to interact with it in the future. So here we are on our dashboard. We have a small menu in the left side, the home page, templates videos and brand kit. From all videos we can easily find all the projects we already created. On the templates area we can just simply find different templates we can easily use while creating our own projects. And from the home we can also find recent videos, different projects and we have the option to create project or record video. Also we have like a new video button in the left side menu which also leads us to create project button or start a recording. In the right top corner, we can just simply upgrade our paid plan, we can manage our account settings, or we can invite friends to work together. So let's try to create a project. Let's click on this button right up here. And in a few seconds, we'll come to our editor. Basically, the first thing we need to do is just to uh, upload files we are going to interact with. So I'm just going to click on browse. And from this page here, we can just simply find all the files. We can use videos, photos, music, and so on. So let's click on open. And our media will be successfully added to our timeline. So in the left side, we have a menu with settings, media, audio, subtitles, text, elements, templates and transitions. On the settings uh, folder, we can just simply interact with all project settings. We can change size, background, audio, duration and also manage version history. On the media, we can interact with uh, files we've already added. We can upload new. Uh, file we can record our camera use text to speech feature and also use some stock videos we can search for it or do some other stuff so this is with how can we interact with videos i think it's pretty cool so if you click on this one right up here this video will be also added to our timeline as you can see so now we can just simply put it somewhere here for example on the audio, the same thing, we can add the voiceover, use text-to-speech feature or use some stock music or music effects, basically sound effects. There are a lot of different categories we can easily use. All of this music is free, so they are free to copyright. I think it's pretty cool. On the subtitles folder, we can just simply add the subtitles to video. Also, we can type your subtitles manually or we can upload our own subtitle file if we have one. On the text folder, we can find a lot of different text templates we can simply use. As you can see, like, thanks for watching, different like simple text templates and some other stuff. So there are a lot of templates we can easily use. It makes the video creating a little bit easier. The elements where we can find different shapes, emojis, sound waves, which is really interesting progress bars. I think it's pretty cool. Animated stickers, GIFs, draw, featured and so on. Also, sometimes it's helpful to use some mockups so we can easily use like iPhone mockup and do some other stuff. Brand logos, basically a lot of stuff we can just simply find here. Templates where we can find different templates. They are divided into different categories. So we can easily try to use some of them. For example, this one here, if you'll click, we'll create basically uh, the timeline here. So it will be like created like this. So in this case, it's pretty cool. And the record option with transitions on the transitions folder, we can add transitions between our videos, images and so on. So let's try to create some maybe 
videos we are going to interact i'm going to use two of these clips with a rainy weather right up here and the sunny weather and the first tip i'm going to do is just to add the transition so i'm going to click and drag and drop it between two of these suns so let's try to play to view how does it look like and as you can see the transition is pretty cool i think i'd like to use it uh, then let's add some text i'm going to find some interesting template i'm going to use Maybe I'd like to use this one here. So all I need to do is just to simply click. And basically now we can change the color. So let it be like white. And also I'd like to change the text. So let it be like bad weather. So now it looks like this. I'm going to decrease the size, make it less. Also change the duration on our timeline. And now we can just simply play and as you can see it looks like this and when the weather will change i also like to change my text so i'm going to add one more text right up here and the text here it will be like good weather let it be like this also decrease the size make it white and i'm going to change the duration like this here. And is it possible to place the transition between different texts? As you can see, no. So all we can do is just to click on the text, go to animation, and the here we can find the animation uh, we can just simply add. So we can just simply add the fall, for example, pop, or do some other stuff. So let it be like pop, for example. And for this video, I also like to add the animation and let it be like fall. So now our video looks like this and it's quite simple but as for me it's like pretty cool that we can just in a few seconds create video like this. So when everything is done basically we can just simply click on done in the right top corner and then we can easily export our video. So let's click on export and uh, the process uh, will begin in a few minutes uh, our video will be pre seed and we'll be able to download it. But it will be downloaded with a watermark and if we are going to remove, if we click on remove in the right top corner, all we need to do is just to buy paid plan. So as you can see monthly plan costs like $30 per month and the annually is like for the early paying uh, $288. So this is basically the the biggest thing you need to know about VIT that they have like paid plan only without that. So if you want to use it without Vetermark, you want to, you have to like buy the paid plan. They have like four plans, one of three and three are paid. So basically this is the way of how can we use VIT.io as a beginner. Hope this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.